Hey guys, how's it going? It's Seth again with another spray paint art tutorial. Well, today it's not really going to be so much of a tutorial as it is a learning experience for everybody. I've been seeing these kind of uh, galaxy kind of designs that I've really enjoyed from an artist named Mark Fussell, Fussell. I'm not really sure how to pronounce it, but he is probably by far one of my favorite spray paint artists. So I'm going to try one of his techniques and if it works out, I'll explain what I do as I go along so it'll kind of be like a tutorial, but it's going to be more or less me learning something and trying to teach you guys as I'm learning. So it's going to be more of an advanced space scene. I'm going to have a galaxy up here. So that's going to create light sources for all these planets. I'm also going to show you guys how to do a planet inside of another planet. So enough about me rambling. Let's get started. First thing I'm going to do, and always make sure to spray off to the side and make sure your paint is spraying nicely. Just mist these a little bit. And that's really all you need. You just need enough to get this very faint outline. So I'm going to do mostly cool colors today. So I want this planet down here that's going to be within this bigger planet. I want it to look a little bit more distinguished or different. So I am going to add a little bit of yellow to that bottom part. Okay. Maybe a little bit of let's do blue. Touch of white. Okay, my white's not spraying very well, but I have enough to at least cover that a little bit. So I'm gonna get a different can of white here. That's why you always spray off to the side first to make sure that's spraying okay. Because if it started spraying really poorly at first, it would mess up your whole painting. There, that one's a little bit nicer. So what I'm gonna do so cover that mostly with blue. And see, since this has yellow down here, let me move that up just to make sure you guys can see it. See, this sp the spot with the white has mostly, uh, has a lot of yellow in it, so it's gonna stand out a lot more. It's gonna have a warm color in it. And this part up here, I'm doing mostly cool colors with. So, add just a little bit of white up here. And we're gonna touch up all that with black. And we're gonna do just a tiny bit down there. All right, then we're gonna take our magazine sheet. I want the texture down here to look a little bit different so it's not exactly the same. So I'm going to crumble up my magazine sheet just a little bit, lay it over that, and peel it up. I actually really like how it turned out, but the paint looks a little wet here, so I'm just going to take a little bit of my magazine sheet and peel it up. Okay, so far so good. I'll take another magazine sheet. I think what I'm going to do with this is Lay it on here, not gonna crinkle it at all, and just smear it. Looks pretty cool. An easier way to do this that I should have done the first time. Fold the magazine sheet a couple times so that way it's a little easier to hold on to. Cool. So, what I'm gonna do, take my black, That. Then we're gonna take a little bit of white. I'm gonna hold this relatively close so it doesn't get too much into this texture here. So I'm gonna go just like so. Okay. So we take our planet stencil right there. And then we're gonna put black all the way around that. Okay. Now I'm gonna highlight this main edge of my larger planet. that up so we have our small planet and then we're going to set our larger stencil right over top all right so that's one down now for these other two i'm just going to do whatever combination of colors i really want i want mostly cool colors in this because my galaxy spiral is going to be a blue color and for some reason i just want all my colors to really go together so we're going to do a little bit of green 
And you know what? Let's do some purple on top of that. And tuck away. All right, so grab a magazine sheet, crumple it up, lay it over, peel up. Go do that again just because the paint looks a little wet. stand out a little bit more. Yeah, I like that a lot more. So, since our light source is going to be up here, you got to think about where the light's going to be coming from. So, it's going to be somewhere like in here, so the shading is going to be somewhere over here. Okay? And of course, add your highlight to the innermost edge. I'm going to actually let that dry a little bit so this my planet stencil doesn't leave a ring around here. And for my last planet, I'm going to keep it with just blue. But I have this lighter color blue here that I'm going to do. And I'm going to do my normal blue over top of that. Black, and then a little bit of white. Cool. I'm not going to crinkle this one nearly as much because I want more of that uh, rocky texture going throughout there. So, even though I just said that, I am going to peel a little bit more paint off. There we go. Just because if the paint looks a little bit wet, I'd rather peel off some of the paint. So, once again, pay attention to where your light source is going to come from, so I'm going to want to do that edge. And always make sure to curve these lines to make sure it goes along with the curvature of the planet. So it looks a little bit uh, more natural. There we go. Our stencils back on. Make sure to get some of the black and some of the white. Good. Now it's time to actually make our galaxy. Let's see if I can slide this down. Let me see. Yeah, you guys can see most of that. Yep, I just rubbed my hand across the paper so I could see on my camera where uh, we we're going to be looking here. So I'm going to hit up with some light blue first. As you can see, I'm just bursting it to really control where I want my paint to go. I'm going to want quite a bit of paint on here, just because we are going to be moving it a little bit. Why is my paint spraying funny? Hold on a second. If you have a paint can spraying funny, something you can do, either replace the cap or you can take a palette knife, just kind of scrape the edge on it. Let me see if that fixed it. If it didn't, I'm just gonna have to replace the cap on it. That fixed it. Okay. And I'm gonna add just a little bit of purple. I like blues and purples and these cooler colors just because I think it looks more like a nebula. Just because I'm like whenever you see the Milky Way galaxy or our night sky, I guess you could say. Um, it just looks more like a nebula or night sky to me. A bit of white. And then we're going to take our magazine sheet, we're going to place it on there, we're going to turn it, peel it up. Oh, messing up my plant stencils here. <laughs> Okay, that doesn't look too bad. I want it to look a little bit more swirled, so I'm gonna add some more white. If I can find out where the hell I put some white. There it is. Okay, let's try that again. Like I said, this is also a learning experience for me, so I'm not perfect at it. That is why. 
All right, I think that looks pretty cool. So what I'm gonna do, I add a touch of the light blue in the middle, just to brighten it, and then a touch of the white. If I would grab the correct white for once. And we don't need a lot of white in the middle here, just enough to kind of bring it alive, you see. Okay, so now I'm gonna, just so it doesn't go straight to black, I'm gonna add a little bit of my normal blue around it. Maybe a little bit of purple too. Just to kind of differentiate the sky a little bit. Okay. Next we're gonna take our black and cover everything else. Making sure to get around at least the plant stencils with the black. If I want to go back through and add some more color, I can definitely do that. Okay, we'll go back through and add some more blues and purples on top of this black down here, just so it's a lot less dead feeling. Swirling my paint a little bit, making this curve pattern to make it kind of look like it's a spiral galaxy. Maybe a little bit through there. I'm actually going to take a little bit of my light blue and just do a few little spots. I don't want it to be too bright. All right. And lastly, we need some stars. So as always, spray some white paint on your finger off to the side. Get the big blobs off and just flick. You guys, even though you guys kind of look up to me on this kind of stuff, some stuff is foreign and is new to me. So that's why I'm showing you guys this, to show you guys that I'm not perfect at everything. Which if this turns out cool, I planned it, I swear. I'm just gonna hit up that white just a bit more. There we go. All right, let's go ahead and peel these up. We got a little bit screwed up from where I lifted it, accidentally lifted it up before, but whatever. Right. Whoops. All right. So let's see what we got here. Uh huh. Uh huh. All right. So some things I learned. Probably should have done the nebula first, or probably done at least before these planets, because it uh, got in the way of some of these. Paint was a little bit heavy from my planet within a planet, as you can see down here. I'm not sure how well you can see it on camera, but it is bubbling up a little bit. Uh, probably would have handled that a little bit differently or maybe not added so much paint. So that picked up a little bit. Um, really, I honestly kind of like how it turned out. I think I blended this just fine, maybe a bit too much. I think I got rid of some of the textures up here a little bit too much, but you know, it was an experiment. I was trying to see how to do it. I really like how this technique turned out, at least for my first try at it. So hopefully you guys learned something and uh, maybe you can do a little bit better than I did on my first try. But. Anyways, I want to thank you all for watching, and of course, I will see you all later.